Hi, welcome to our channel. For today, we will recap a sci-fi thriller film called Time Lapse from the year 2014. The plot revolves around three friends who discover a photo machine that shows pictures a day into the future. After they use it for personal gain, disturbing and dangerous photos begin to develop. Have you seen this movie yet? If not, grab some popcorn and enjoy. In the opening scene of the movie, Finn, a painter, is shown working on a canvas in his flat. He shares an apartment with his best friend Jasper and girlfriend Callie. In addition, Finn maintains his apartment block, with Jasper who is a compulsive gambler. On that day, Finn gets to know Big Joe, the apartment's guard, and he invites him to a house party. Their landlord gives them a call to let them know that Mr. Bezerides, one of the tenants, is two months overdue on his rent. Callie visits Mr. Bezerides. She taps on the door, but nobody picks up. Additionally, there is a stack of newspapers in front of the door, indicating that it has been a while since he left. Callie opens the door using the extra keys. Callie interrupts Finn and Jasper in the middle of their conversation to drag them to Mr. Bezerides' flat. Upon entering, the trio notices a wall covered in old Polaroid photos of their living area. Through the living room window, Mr. Bezerides had been photographing them. There are also empty photos of the room, which leads Jasper to believe he was spying on them. Additionally, a few of the collection's photos are missing. When Finn turns around, he notices an enormous machine in the very same area. It appears as though a sizable camera is aimed straight at their living room window. It's in there that we notice their living room's coat rack is overturned. They assume that this camera is the source of the images hanging on the walls. As they talk in their flat, Callie abruptly topples the rack. The group perfectly matches the image to the style of their living space. The group discovers that the camera appears to take pictures 24 hours in advance. Abruptly, the camera snaps a photo by itself. When they look at it, they envision it as a picture of their house party that will take place the next day. They're all in astonishment. Jasper continues to doubt that the camera captures images of the future. When Callie finds Mr. Bezerides' journal, it states that he saw his death on camera. Thus, he intended to go against causality and time. When Finn looks closely at the photos, he discovers that they were all taken at precisely 8 p.m. On the wall are a few images that were taken during the day. Interestingly, a few of the wall's photos are missing. Then, upon arriving at Mr. Bezerides' storage facility, the group discovers his lifeless body. Although his clothing appears decent, his face is scorched and decaying. Jasper believes that his disobedience of the cardinal rule is what killed him. Back in their flat, Jasper recommends they make use of the camera to place a bet. Although Callie is in favor of the plan, Finn remains far from convinced. They are hosting a house party that evening. Jasper and Callie join the guests in dancing, and Finn visits Mr. Bezerides' apartment so he can take a picture at precisely 8 p.m. He takes a picture and compares it to the Polaroid, and they are identical. At that moment, a photo emerges from the camera. He notices the three of them posing for the photographer in the photo. The gambling outcomes are printed on paper and taped to the window. The next day, Callie proposes that even though Finn is still skeptical about the notion, they risk becoming like Mr. Bezerides if they follow the picture's instructions, which would violate the rule of causality and time. In an attempt to give the impression that Mr. Bezerides is still in his home, Callie begins watering his plants and stealing his newspaper. Without any inspiration to think of, Finn just stares blankly at the image on the canvas. A few days pass, and the group covers Mr. Bezerides' disappearance while making a significant profit from it. But a week later, they get a picture where Finn is painting in front of them and Jasper and Callie are kissing in the background. Finn finds the picture disturbing, but they must follow the cardinal rule and perform as instructed. Thus, while Finn paints, Jasper and Callie share a kiss that evening. However, the kiss itself lasts too long, which makes Finn envious and furious. When he gets to Mr. Bezerides' house, the fresh photo is already there. In their living room, they see Ivan, Jasper's bookmaker. Ivan is an aggressive criminal, which stuns the group. Jasper feels anxious about that day. Finn and Callie depart, and he remains on the couch, waiting for Ivan. Ivan visits shortly after that. Jasper is threatened to reveal his secret since he doesn't trust Jasper's recent victories. He is told by Jasper to leave them alone and let Ivan make his bets. Callie and Finn show up at that exact moment with the photo for the following day. As Jasper's shadow is seen through the window, Callie is shown in the photo posing in her pants for Finn's artwork. Ivan sees the photo as well, and he walks away. Cut to the following day as Callie and Finn prepare to paint. Callie strikes a posture while Finn paints her, but at precisely 8, they notice Ivan through the window. It turned out that Ivan was the silhouette in the photo. 
He discovers the camera and, along with his goon Marcus, they start to threaten the group. They agree to an agreement whereby the group must now appear for daily pictures with gambling results so that Ivan can place bets on them. He hopes to make money off of the camera. They follow Ivan's instructions. For a few days, they provide him the gambling outcomes. Finn is taken aback one day to discover that the photo from the following day has an odd artwork on it. In this image, a clumsily drawn skull and crossbones are visible on the canvas. Finn does not typically paint in this style. The gang believes that Finn from the future is attempting to alert them to something. Jasper conceals multiple guns in the living room in case they are attacked since he is extremely anxious. Finn encounters Big Joe, who recently started working as a police officer, at the gate that evening. But Marcus watches them from his car while they speak. Joe hands Finn his card. Jasper is informed about the events by Finn when he returns to the room. After a while, Ivan and Marcus show up there wary of Big Joe. After discovering the police card, they interrogate the three about their relationship with Joe. They make threats to murder the group. However, Jasper tells him lies, claiming to have seen the photo from tomorrow, which shows Marcus killing Ivan. Ivan visits Mr. Bezerides' place to view the photo and verify it for himself, because this makes him doubt Marcus. Jasper, on the other hand, stabs Marcus like he practiced. Upon returning, Ivan finds Marcus dead, and Jasper uses a bat to assault and murder him as well. The bodies are concealed by the group in Mr. Bezerides' storage unit. They discover that the new image is, in fact, a photo of Jasper with a stack of cash in front of him while he sits on the couch. They steal all of Ivan's winnings from his gaming, and they now own millions of dollars. Finn proposes that they divide the money and leave the country. The two oppose this when a knock stops their talk. It's Dr. Heidecker, a friend and co-worker of Mr. Bezerides who is searching for him. When Jasper and the other members of the group are unable to maintain their version of events regarding Mr. Bezerides, Dr. Heidecker pulls a gun on them and makes them confess. Before he passed away, Mr. Bezerides had sent her a note. He had informed her in the letter about his passing as well as the success of the camera. He'd sent her a picture, too. The image shows blood smeared on the windows and Mr. Bezerides' hat in the background of the group's living room. After viewing the photo, he locked himself in his storage unit, believing he was going to die. As they bring her to the unit, Heidecker realizes that Mr. Bezerides' death was not caused by the Cardinal's rule. When he pulled the cabinet's shelves, a chemical spilled over him, killing him. It was merely an incident. Heidecker further informs them that the image depicts the future. The camera can take images more than 24 hours in advance, which surprises Finn and Jasper. However, at the moment, it is set to take pictures 24 hours in the future, and the timer is set to always go off at 8 p.m. Since Jasper knows Heidecker won't be much use to them, he uses Ivan's revolver to kill her. After hiding her body there, they return to their home. Finn has made the decision to leave their home since he believes Jasper killed an innocent woman. Callie goes to check the photograph for tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the evening, while Jasper snaps the photo with a stack of cash. With his suitcase packed, Finn emerges to make a quick escape from the location. He visits Mr. Bezerides' house, where Callie and Jasper are sitting in anguish. The photo from the following day shows Callie and Jasper getting very intimate while Finn snoozes on the couch behind them. Finn is enraged to witness this. Callie leaves that place quickly. Finn then displays to Jasper the engagement ring he had long since purchased for Callie. He did not let Jasper explain himself and immediately smacks him knocking him out. He ties Finn there after dragging him to the storage container. Jasper wants to follow the camera's instructions and ensure that the picture is taken under all circumstances. After that, Jasper heads to the flat to wait till 8 p.m. the following day. When Finn awakens at the storage unit the following morning, burns the ropes and sets himself free. He leaves the storage facility by taking the keys from Mr. Bezerides' pockets. He then heads to Mr. Bezerides' residence with a bucket of water. From there, he phones Jasper and makes a threat to douse the camera with water. Jasper should let Finn and Callie move on and find another place. Callie is called outside by Jasper, who then aims his revolver at her. He makes an unsuccessful attempt to intimidate Finn into killing Callie. After that, Finn asks Callie to check Jasper's pocket for the ring. She is overjoyed. After that, she grabs Jasper's gun and lets Finn in. They are now all three in the apartment. Callie is told to pack her clothing by Finn. They intend to leave as soon as they can. Callie attempts to do so, but Jasper assaults Finn. Just as he is ready to murder Finn, Callie appears from behind and ends Jasper's life to save Finn. Callie then enters the kitchen to get Finn some ice for his wounds. But Finn notices her opening a different drawer when he goes in to check. Callie offers an explanation, but Finn feels something is off. She leads him to their room, where she lays the ice.
but when Finn arrives to investigate, he discovers Callie posing for pictures. Two letters are taped to the window by her. It's 8 in the morning, so Finn is taken aback to discover the camera taking a picture. He had believed all along that the camera only took images at 8 p.m. It's at this point that everything becomes clear when he questions Callie about it. Prior to the film's events, Finn and Callie's relationship was experiencing difficulties. Callie slept with Jasper since she didn't feel the love from Finn as he had been acting distantly. They were unaware that Mr. Bezerides' time camera had been capturing images of their misbehavior the entire time. Callie first noticed the gadget and the pictures when she entered Mr. Bezerides' apartment. Additionally, she viewed the photos that were shot of her misbehaving with Jasper. This also applies to the picture of him having sex. She deleted the photos because she wanted to keep them hidden. She surmised that the camera was programmed to snap images at 8 in the morning and 8 at night. Callie, however, chose to keep the 8 a.m. part a secret after seeing a photo of herself that morning standing with the words, not coat stand over, written on it. She made the decision to keep the details about the 8 a.m. directive a secret in order to conceal the daytime pictures from last week. She needs these instructions to help her get Finn back with her. She has been taking pictures at 8 a.m. with a message from her future self every morning as she goes to water the plants at Mr. Bezerides' residence. Callie received the 8 a.m. photo one morning that said, Kiss Jasper for too long. She thus complied with that directive and extended the kiss. She got what she wanted and Finn became jealously angry. She only asks that he stand up for their relationship and he did. Callie obeyed the directions after receiving a message the previous day at 8 a.m., requesting her to replace the photograph from that day with the sex shot. The plan worked, as it succeeded in making Finn envious and fighting for their relationship. He battled for their relationship today more than she had ever seen him. Finn rejects Callie after learning the truth. When he concludes that everything is wrong and that the machine must be destroyed, Callie shoots him first, killing him. This produces the same blood spatter on the window as in the picture taken by Heidecker. She wants to post a warning reading, don't get caught at the window. At 8 p.m., she believes that by sending a message to herself via the window at the moment of the shot, she may stop these things from happening by sending a message to herself 24 hours earlier. Joe, the policeman, arrives as she's waiting for the camera to go out and asks her to unlock the door. He takes Callie away after discovering dead bodies in the hallway. Callie walks out calmly, knowing that the history will restart and that all will end when her previous self reads the message she taped. In order to arrest Callie, Joe brings her outside the house. However, the note she left suddenly falls out of the window. Joe pulls Callie away as she wants to sprint back to reattach the message. The movie ends when the camera captures its 8 p.m. scene, cutting to darkness before the image has a chance to develop. Callie cannot alter the course of events because they are predestined. There is no way to break the causal loop once it has started. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy the movie. See you on our next video.